Hey guys, it's Drew with Card of My Eye, and today I have this mini album I created. It's a recipe album that, um, it's a 4 inch by 6 inch chipboard album that I created using a couple different paper collections, and I'm going to show you which paper collections I used. Um, they're all from My Little Shoebox, and I used the, um, Flying High paper collection. I used the, um, Just Add Butter paper collection. I used the Away We Go paper collection. I use the um, Little Lil Critter paper collection, if you could see that. You might be able to zoom in and you can see it a little bit better. So I added that collection. And then I also used the Mini Monsters paper collection, but that's not, um, it, I don't have a little tabby thing for it. So, um, yeah, let's get started with the album. So first what I did was, I'm going to show you the binding. I bound it with two red binding rings, and these are just the one inch size binding rings, and then I use the Sherbert collection um, fibers I have, and those are available on my website at scrappyhappiness.com, and they're the Sherbert um, collection fibers. And I use that on either side, and then on this side I used the um, some silver chain, which I added on a little pink gemstone ball, and one of my signature bird charms, and I also added on this little um, Tim Holtz um, the little acrylic piece, the tokens or chips or whatever they're called, and I stamped the word sweet on some of the designer paper and I heard it on. I didn't realize on the back it has like the My Little Shoebox copyright info, so I'll have to do something with that or I just I could just leave it like that. And on my front cover, I added on, um, I did um, kind of like a scene, so I have a brown floor and then I added on um, a cloudy background. I added on some Prima flowers, um, a handmade satin silk rose flower, um, a green frame with a um, coffee cup thicker in it. Those are the pink um, felt, or the pink um, canvas. And then I added some designer paper in there, and I stamped the rest. I used some letter stickers and put recipes on one of the clouds I cut out from the background. And I, I inked it up with the worn lipstick Tim Holtz Distressing Ink. Um, I, I cut out this house from the um, the Flying High Tweet paper. Is the, the paper's called Tweet, and it's from the Flying High collection. And I cut out the house, and I dimensionalized and popped that up, and I added um, five Baby Prima flowers at the bottom and two little gems. And I on all the pages, they have these little tabs on the side. They're little folder punches by um, McGill Crafts. And... They're using the same paper collections, and I just punched them out so you could write, like, maybe candy or... This is more like a recipe book for, like, desserts, so that's why it's like this. And it flips over, and then you're going to go over to your next page. This is kind of how it goes. So I'm going to... This page has it stitching, and it has two of the paper collections and a little thicker down here, a Prima Baby Rose and Prima Flowers, and it has a tab again. So room for journaling on a photo right here. And then how you're going to use the album is it just lays down like this. Or you could prop it up against something. Or I don't really know. There's not a proper way to use this album. So I might need to take off some of the fibers. But you guys could use it like this. It'll just stick up like that. So that's that page. On the other page, I added on one of the uh, cutouts from the Just Add Butter paper collection, and it's uh, um, the microwave. And I c opened the door with my scissors, and this is that paper I used on the front charm. And I added some powdered paper on the inside. I added some, a border strip with some trees on it, and that's from the um, Lil Critter um, paper collection. And just some patterned paper in the background. I added two bur Prima Pearls there. And I also added on three Prima flowers with some bling in them and added on a couple layers of this cotton string. On my next page, I, I thought this was a fun page for like a cake recipe. So you could add maybe like a vanilla cake recipe right here. And then on these little tags, you could have different types of frosting. Like a chocolate frosting on this tag, um, a vanilla frosting, and then like a buttercream frosting on this tag. So you could have different frostings on the tags and then like different, um, a, a cake recipe on here. And so then you could, you have a little tab to write cake on here, and there's just a really fun page there. On the opposite page, I have a photo mat for a photo. Um, this pulls out, the little cupcake pulls out, and you could add your recipe on the back. Or you could also add your recipe on um, the side right here, and that just slips right behind the photo mat. And I added on another tab right here, and 
just a couple strips of the patterned paper throughout there and a prima flower with the green prima bling right there. Um, on my next page, I added on a large photo mat for a large photo and it says sweetie again like the front did and then I added on a royal flower right here and I punched out another tab which goes on here and there's, and there's a pull out tag for your journaling for your um, paper and then you can see that that's the mini monsters collection on the back that's what the monster paper looks like and then I used a really fun cupcake paper in the background on the next page I created this using some of the polka dot paper and this is the opposite side of the cupcake paper and I created um, one of my avant-garde prima inspired flowers I did a video tutorial on this so you can check it out and then there's a little Tim Holtz clip right here which you could turn just like that and then it has a pop out um, display for different um, photos or even like journaling or whatever you want to use it for and then the little clip just slips back on but I'll do that in a little while and then I added on some ribbon from the Michaels dollar section. It looks like corn husks. And I added on three little Prima flowers, Prima roses. And I added on this um, little piece right here, the little tab again. And you flip the page. On this page is another spot for a big photo and the recipe right here. And there's two Prima flowers here and another tab. Really fun page. I love those pages. On this page, I added on, um, I added in a house tag. So you could add some journaling and photos on the house tag. And as well as I added on this tag with a little pansy button in it. And then the opposite side has the mini monsters paper. And in the background, this is a tweet paper that I got the, um, the, the houses were on that paper that I used on the front and also for this tag. And the house um, kind of goes in sideways like this. And then I added on two Prima flowers. I love this rich pink color. Then I added on some stickers, a button thicker and another tab and on the very last page I made it a very simple last page and made it look like you're looking out the back window and you're looking through the front window right here and then you're looking at the back window right here and then I added on these this um, flower that I made and I added on a strip of paper here and some of the G Studios flocking I just used that with some sticky strip and it just added a nice texture to the page so that is my completed um, album that I created using the different paper collections by My Little Shoebox. And I will be doing a Ustream class on this exact album sometime in, sometime in October. It's going to be my first Ustream class, so I'll get you guys the schedule soon. I have to get my webcam and the papers and everything to create this album first, and then I'll... Um, create the album for you guys on a Ustream video. So thanks so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and have a great day. Bye, everybody.